Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today's one is highly optimistic. I mean, I was really overly optimistic when I was planning this out. I thought it would be such a wonderful idea to try on every single dress in my wardrobe. And I have around... I have around 90 dresses in my wardrobe. That's like approximately from what I could see, but maybe there's going to be more. So let's round it up to 100. I have around 100 dresses, which I'm going to try for you. And even if it takes me like a one minute per dress, that's more than an hour and a half of trying on. And it's going to take me more. So this video is going to take a very long time. Why did I decide to do this? But anyway, I thought it would be quite a nice idea to show you all the dresses in my wardrobe. And besides that, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to like then screenshot all the dresses I have, put them all in my outfits uh, album. You guys know I have this. Wait, let me show you for the newbies so that you can understand what I'm talking about. And if you are new, while you're waiting, you might as well subscribe to this channel because maybe you like it. On my phone, I have an album called The Outfits. And over there, I kind of like a style looks, for example, take a picture. And then whenever I don't know what to wear, excuse the mess, I would like go through this album and I would be like, okay, this is a cute outfit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot all the dresses, put them in that folder. And that will really help me kind of see when I'm getting dressed, what I'm in the mood for, what I'm not in the mood for, what I want to wear. I think it's like a brilliant <laughs> idea for me and for my organization. When I'm traveling, I can just kind of like pre-select what I want to bring and like, you know, I hope you're gonna enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to comment and to press like thumbs up. Then if you like this one, maybe I can also try all of my tops or trousers or I don't know, whatever you guys want. So let's, let's get going. Okay, so you have seen my wardrobe like more than you probably would have wanted to see it. More times, I mean. And it's kind of like this widest part is full of evening dresses because I think I have the most evening dresses and sometimes they tend to be quite big, which is why I have allowed them the most space. And then over here, I have my day dresses, which is where the most of like Zimmerman type of things live, I guess I could say. Um, so I have quite a few day dresses as well. And then over here, I have some of the longer dresses. This is where usually my coats are during the winter months. And then and longer dresses during the summer months so I will show you those as well I am not gonna do this in any particular order like by brand or whatever I'll just start from here because otherwise I'll get lost if I try to pick like brands etc so I'll start from the beginning and then I'll go like this all the dresses will be linked below and what I'm gonna do as I try them on I will assign them a number so you will see like a dress number one dress number two dress number three and then I will link them below according to that number so that it's much easier to find everything you need okay so first dress that we have is a Kim dress from Rotate I love this dress so much I think it's quite cool for I'm kind of like, you know, throughout the year, white one is a different one, is the new collection one. I have a few others from the previous collections. They were before made of like this kind of like a brocade material. This is just simple cotton, which feels really nice on the skin. I love um, this color as well, and I love the recognizable shoulders. So this is super cute, if you ask me. Next up, we have uh, this dress. This is a uh, Giambattista Lavalli for H&M collection. It's a super princessy dress, like probably the most princessy dress of all that I own. I don't know if you guys remember, I did a special video and uh, many pictures for uh, this collection when it came out in October, November. But I really think it's super cute. It has very cute uh, detailing on the material. I'll come closer so you can see. It's just like a very, very girly, like princess dress. I don't really like tend to wear this on everyday basis, but I think it's nevertheless beautiful. Next up, another rotate dress. Uh, this is a very sparkly number with shoulder pads. It's a wrap dress uh, and it has like these little frills. At the bottom, it's very, very sparkly. So I would say you're gonna be like a disco ball if you go um, to a party in this. It keeps special memories for me, so I really, really like it. And I even celebrated my 31st birthday in a live wearing this. So yeah. I mean, how much do I love this brand from 1 to 10? Is a 12. This is a retro fat dress. It's a white sequin dress. They're, by the way, known for making very special sequins, like extremely good quality dresses. And I love that retro fat really knows woman's body. Like, I mean, I don't know how they do this, but they make woman's body look really, really great. There's a bit of shoulder pads, like really nice cinched waist. And um, I don't know, but I think this dress 
looks really great on. I wore it a few times and it reminds me of like uh, what I would get married in if I would get married in Vegas, you know, like uh, fly to Vegas to get married and this is what I would wear, which is never gonna happen by the way. I mean the Vegas part, the wedding is gonna happen. Okay, here is another uh, Giambattista Valley for H&M dress and this is the one that I wore at the like a uh, the main event like the press event kind of thing it's a little bit big for me i think it's a size bigger but this is always going to be a problem for me with the waist and things because my waist is very small comparing to my hips and my shoulders so it's very hard for me to have something that's very fitted here i love this dress especially the material the detailing the work as you can see it's very very particular very special very giampatista and um, yeah this is what i wore i wore it with the combat boots to the main event and i really liked wearing it with combat boots because that really gave it a nice contrast so it kind of added a bit of a extra thing if you know what i mean and this is another retrofed dress this is actually the first one that i ever got in my collection and this is what i mean when i said that they do very special sequins like if you look closely this looks like it could be um crystals right it doesn't really look like sequins it's very very special this is the first one that i ever got it's not a wrap dress it's one that you put on and then you accentuate waist with um this kind of belt so yeah, I really, really love it. I wore it several times and every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. So it's um, a kind of favorite one of maybe even all the retrofed dresses, though that's a very big statement. Here we have another retrofed dress, like a super sequin, beautiful silver, black and gold. And I love this one because it's kind of a mosaic, you know, like different type of style. I think it's quite cool. I don't think I've worn this one yet can't remember if i worn it yet but uh, it's a wrap dress it's beautiful like really well made and the same kind of as well recognizable sleeves as you guys can see so yeah this is another beauty in my wardrobe okay for you guys that don't like sequin dresses i promise we're coming to an end and then you will not see a sequin dress for the next 80 dresses so i have around 10 in my wardrobe this is a uh, I would say cheetah print it has like this bow padded shoulders but the back is what makes it very beautiful i don't know if you can see i tied the bow really badly but i'll come closer so you can see so this is the front where you can see what it looks like and then the back which yeah like i said i tied the bow really badly but um <laughs> i kind of did it you know i have to try on 90 dresses so I think that this is going to be a mission. I feel like my body is gonna hurt once I've tried all the dresses, but this is it. It's like a party dress, right? We have another Kim dress that you can see, recognizable for the buttons and the shoulders. Very comfortable, I love this dress, I think. It's so flattering, it's so beautiful. This is kind of like a yellow and black fringe. I actually haven't worn this dress as much as I wish I have. I don't know if it's the print, the color, it's quite a fashion, so I think it would be really cool for some of the work events that um, I attend. And yeah, it's a different material to the first one that I've shown you. Okay guys, I know I said that another dress from Retrofet was my favorite, but I have to say this is the favorite. I'm not gonna change my mind anymore. This is my favorite Retrofet dress. I love it, it's gold. There's nothing to wrap or to attach. Uh, why I love it so much is that because the skirt is so beautiful. I love this shape on the skirts. It's always very flattering. So you can see it's kind of open here, padded shoulders. The gold looks really beautiful. Um, this is my kind of, of course, evening evening special occasion dress. And I worn it several times. I love, love this dress. This dress is from Jacques Mousse. I love it so much. Like, oh my God, what a freaking cool look, right? Um, something that you wear with the boots, you know, like... Um, kind of Paris Texas boots and um, yeah the color is a bit of a like a brick color but I love Jacquemus dresses so much I actually wore this what I found a pair of sunglasses and I was looking for these these are my Celine um, sunglasses that I was searching for bingo I wore these at the men's fashion week to the Jacquemus show they do like um, men's and women's together and I really, really like this. Also, the pockets clearly serve as a little mini bags, which is amazing. I promise, if you count this one, 
there are four dresses left in my so like three more after this one in my wardrobe that are sequin and no more sequin dresses uh this is another retrofit one with beautiful beautiful sequin work that looks like it's crystals i'm wearing this one um i've actually photographed it on my instagram as well several times i really love this like pastel blue color so beautiful such a stunning stunning wrap dress really uh i mean they always do an incredible job how beautiful is this dress uh, this is a tara dress from rotate so it's kind of has similar shoulders to kim i think yeah but it's like cinched in waist and it has like a line skirt like a kind of skater so that's what it's called i don't know loving the material loving the colors like pastel green so beautiful now this dress is a gucci dress is from the alessandro michele like first or second collection i can't really remember i still love the print but i don't really wear this dress but i will keep this dress because i think it's kind of like a memory piece you know like you know, a special piece it's a pure silk feels beautiful on the skin i don't know why it's in my evening dresses because this is not really an evening dress at all another one of those um retrofit beautiful printed sequin dresses this is silver and black as you can see with sort of like a cheetah print as well I really like this this is so like special kind of night type of dress if you know what i mean this dress you guys i was just like looking at it and i was thinking should i keep this dress I, maybe it's made for a little bit shorter people than me because it's very short very short like the back is beautiful i haven't properly fastened it but i think the back is beautiful it's an alice mccall pink dress i think like the kind of shape really flatters the body but it's a little bit maybe the color and stuff is like a little bit too much out there i don't know what you think uh, i wore this in madrid on uh, when we went for a wedding of my friend alex and the uh, night before her wedding we went to a like a gay bar karaoke bar and this is what i wore and it was like a perfect outfit for the occasion you know but where else would i wear it i don't really know i feel a little bit ridiculous what you guys think please let me know what to do with this dress should i keep it or not this is the green dress that i am actually wearing for the first time ever it's a little bit different to the other wrap dresses but the cleavage is also a little bit bigger just that like yeah but there is not really much i don't really have much cleavage so for me it's not really uh you know what i mean it's not like such a big deal i love this green color this green is so beautiful it kind of reminds me of I don't know like it looks very exotic and kind of uh, luxurious so yeah another sequin dresses and there's only one more sequin dress and you will not have to see a sequin for the rest of this video this is another retro fat dress so you guys can see that they don't only do um sequin dresses this is a silk beautiful silk dress and i really really like this because the skirt is tight so it's kind of like um you see like a kind of mesh together material then it does have a bit of cut here but it never reveals anything and the sleeves are you know the like a baggy sleeve with the buttons tight um cuff it could be a little bit tighter like if it would be a little bit tighter like this it would be even better but um Seems like I kind of lost weight in this quarantine. Okay, the last sequin piece is here. So can I have a round of applause or at least some kind of thumbs up under this video? This is actually not even a dress. It's a jumpsuit. You know, how do I um, show that and stay graceful? I guess like this, you can kind of see that it's a jumpsuit. But it has this little flap over it, which makes it a little bit dressy. The print is, I don't know, like an um, exotic animal, snake, frog print but i love it it's from ala berman and um, it has really cool shoulder pads it's like a, you know um very evening dress i wore it once and um it was kind of a cool photo shoot this could be one of my favorite dresses that i own this is from magda butram and i love the designer so much i think i have three or four dresses in my wardrobe they're very expensive but i think worth every penny i love them so look at this beautiful like uh way the skirt is done then we have like the black silk top with shoulder pads and the purple flowers and then the purple flowers also have little crystals i don't know if you can tell but it's kind of girly but it's sexy and it's feminine and beautiful it's very evening like a date night a dinner type of thing it's not too revealing but i think it's very this for me is a very sexy dress love this cut the way it's cut with the legs i love that so yeah there we go okay here we go another magda dress in my collection 
I mean, this is so spectacular. Don't you guys think? I love it. The material is very comfortable. It looks like it wouldn't be because all of this that's going on here looks like it could be quite constricting and weird. I think this is a beautiful dress to wear for like a wedding, kind of like maybe early, like a spring wedding because it's not too um, naked. Like not naked, but you know what I mean, light. It's kind of a polka dot, navy polka dot with this beautiful detailing here and then detailing goes all the way down to the sleeve. Sorry if you can see some of the tags. Not the tags, but you know the thing that you hang the dress with poking because I didn't really check. And what's really beautiful is that uh, Magda does these like crystal um, shoulder kind of straps which make the dress look so feminine. Maybe, just maybe, maybe this is my favorite rotate dress that I own. Still haven't tried one more that I have that just arrived together with the white Kim dress, which is in the longer section. But this is so beautiful. I wore this to their fashion show in Copenhagen as well. It's a green velvet, like dark green velvet color, but it also comes in different colors. I think it comes in pink as well. It's very flattering, like very, very flattering. Has these kind of like, um, and also like the collar details. Can you see the collar details? Beautiful. The shoulder pads, beautiful. If you decide to get this dress, I would size up because it is a little bit tight. And because the like velvet is not really a forgiving material, when you sit down, it can kind of choke you a little bit around the neck because it's very tight around the neck. So maybe size it up. Another Magda Bottrum dress. Now, this is the most spectacular one of all the Magda dresses I own. It's very, very special. Not just because it's called Belgrade. I mean, do I even have to explain how amazing it is that it's called Belgrade because it's the capital of my home country. So this is the Belgrade dress. It has the big like kind of flower over here. It looks like a bit of an origami dress. I haven't actually properly closed it because it has a zip. Have I zipped it up? Yeah. And then all of these buttons. So it should be really a little bit tighter. I really can't do all the buttons. You guys will forgive me. I hope. I love the skirt. I think it's quite um, beautiful. You know, because it goes like that, how I like it. And then, I mean, this is so spectacular. This is going to be, I don't know, like a dress I wear to a very, very special event. And I think it kind of goes with my personality very well, this dress. Because it's so extra, but it's not too revealing. And it's not like, um, I don't know, I love it. <laughs> Next up, we got a self-portrait dress. I got this one probably around a year ago. It is in the evening dresses because I have parted in it before, specifically in Belgrade, actually. It goes like one shoulder is off, one is not. It has that kind of like a frill thing going on around as well. But this can for sure be a day dress as well because if I would pair it with like white, kind of like a simple smart trainers and uh, I don't know, a bag this could also be a day look or with sandals you know what i mean like it's a very very simple beautiful dress i mean is this a sex suit or is it a dress wow i think this is so this is so out of my character that it's pretty epic this is um h and moschino dress from their collection it's a leather it zips up like this it's very fitted and um it creates like a cleavage that i never ever ever thought i had or knew i had because this is really new to me it has like these thick kind of um straps and a lot of like things buckles and things are going on this is i believe the only piece from the collection that i have and also is what I've worn to the events in Belgrade and Zagreb as um, a guest of the brand. I don't really know why this is in kind of like party dresses, but then I don't know what else I would kind of classify it as. I wore this dress to a Dolce & Gabbana event in Harrods, like I um, believe 2017 or 16, I don't know. And then they have gifted me the dress, so it's been in my collection ever since. I really like the little buttons, maybe like it's full of like little kind of material things from the other dresses, so I really need to like clean it properly. It has like buttons over here, the shape is very like um, kind of I would say modest, it's not too um, out there, it's like a nice dress. If I was to go to an event, maybe with my parents or something like this, that I would wear something like this. Guys, how much I love this dress. It's asymmetric, so if you don't like the asymmetric stuff, it might kind of drive you crazy. I love it. I, I think this is so sexy. It shows a little bit of side boob, but I love the way it's cut. It's very flattering because it makes you look very narrow. And then, um, not even to mention, I think the back is super sexy. It's really, really beautiful dress. And then it has that long slit. But 
I personally really really love it and I love it so much that I have it in white as well We got a Versus dress. This brand doesn't even exist anymore, but it used to be a diffusion line from Versace. And the back is kind of epic. Like it has these, uh, what are they even called? Like kind of straps. Here we go. This can be even worn over the jeans. It doesn't have to be worn as a dress or, I don't know. I haven't worn this dress in years, but I still have it in my wardrobe because, yeah, you know, it's like a, one of those kind of pieces that keep some sort of sentimental value <laughs> okay we have another retro fed dress it has these like uh, two kind of things on the shoulders what would you call them it's all like a uh, mesh material but i wish it was a little bit tighter on me it was like if it was like this it would be perfect so it will show my waist i guess i like i'm losing a bit of weight in the waist that's the thing but i really really love it i think it's beautiful like this kind of like um, material like silk meshed and then these two flowers on the shoulders okay now we have another self-portrait dress it's a black one it has kind of beautiful lace shoulders and sleeves and it kind of if you look from far it's like a bit of an optical illusion because uh this is like oh my god this dress has pockets this is amazing um but it looks like you know this is like all opaque and then the lace which is visually really beautiful yeah just to show you a close-up as well of the shoulders so that you guys can see it a little bit better now this black little black dress i've worn so 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 many times that this is actually the one that i wanted to include in my video where i mentioned the kind of like uh, best investment pieces and one of them was a little black dress i wanted to include this one because i've worn it so many times and it's very comfortable i love it i think like it has this little frill on the side it's a corset it's very um beautiful dress can you see i especially love wearing this with a male oversized blazer on top so that it really looks kind of cool and add something special to it because then you look even more like fragile and soft and tiny with an oversized male jacket this is the style and i really love it next up we got a kind of balmain jersey dress and it has like these big silver or white lapels whatever you want to call them um i think like the beauty of this dress is kind of in this area here which you know like shows off really nicely like posture if you have a good posture which i don't but i usually try when i wear this dress and like thin straps so this is what it is i wore this to the autumn winter 20 show in paris and actually this dress is quite cool to be worn as well with the black like uh kind of bell trousers or like a wide wide bottom trousers could be quite cool because then it could be worn as a top as well okay one of my favorite dresses i own like i mean really 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 is this philosophy one i love it so much i think it's so special so extra i love how flattering it is i usually style it with a belt here which you guys have seen in some of the pictures already and here is the close-up of the beautiful like neckline i think it's so stunning really really beautiful piece i think like i mean for me this is one of the one of the most amazing dresses i own this dress is i mean i love this dress so much it's a jersey dress uh, from chanel actually i'm very lucky because i got it before the famous price increase that like the whole internet is raging about it's actually i got this uh, dress in size 34 uh, so that it's really fitted in the waist and normally i'm size 36 um like not normally at all size 34 but because this is loose bottom like it will fit my hips because my hips are the like area which is 36 my waist is 34 as well as my chest it's not really like a big <laughs> part of my body yeah it has very subtle branding over here on the on the straps like as you can see it's like a little can you see like little crystal like chanel and yeah i think it's really really beautiful for day or for night as well it can be worn with like a big jacket over to make it look very pretty this dress is one of the most special dresses that i have in my wardrobe um i really love it this is the Saint Laurent uh, spring summer campaign dress um 
that I think is so like fabulous 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 I really love the kind of cut in the front it's very brave as you can see but everything is in place it's quite hard actually to get into this dress because there's a corset underneath which really nicely shapes the body I don't know if you can tell but I really love it and I think it's a spectacular spectacular piece this is a simple black kind of like cotton linen mix um Misa Los Angeles dress. I quite like it because it's very simple. Usually I wear this kind of stuff on and off to the beach with a big jacket like a denim jacket over a blazer and sandals and this is it. Maybe a hat. It's quite cute as you can see. Okay, so it's like a super uh, simple but very embroidered dress. Linen, I love the colors, love the material. Now over here we have a silk uh, Zimmerman jumpsuit. So it's not a dress, it's a jumpsuit, but I kind of keep it where my dresses are. It kind of does look like a dress. It has this beautiful uh, floral print, light and blue, and quite a big cleavage, but everything is like really safe and in place because it ties around the waist. This is probably one of the oldest dresses that I have in my wardrobe. I hope you guys can see it well. Uh, it's self-portrait dress. And I quite like the kind of lace. It's very girly, very cute. It's something that I would wear for perhaps like a family, you know, type of thing. It's like light blue with a lace detailing on top, but it is a little bit sexy because on the side it has this kind of like a cutout. A dress that I really love and wear a lot is this Alessandro Rich dress. I love the print. It's like a blue, green and white flowers, as you can see, the kind of skirt hem that I really love. Shoulders and, uh, you know, like a pretty, pretty cleavage. I think this is quite a nice dress to wear for a wedding. I know that um, the designer makes this kind of dress in several different patterns. I would say it's kind of her signature, one of her signatures. So I really love it. And at the back, it's beautiful too. We have like a pink kind of floral dress. I love it. It's a Zara dress. I got it, I believe, last summer. The elastic has gone a little bit loose on this Thing here but i think that can be tightened and i love wearing this one with my uh, with a pink birkin or a pink bag like uh, summer months is quite cute and simple i wore this dress last summer in capri and i think it really looks beautiful when you're like tan with tan shoulders love that look another dress that i had for around three three years probably is this zimmerman one with um cutaways on the hips i really love this it's like a red floral dress as you can see it has like open sides and it has really really beautiful back detail kind of like ties wore it in um positano as well I have several pictures and it's a beautiful dress next up we got this uh dolce and gabbana dress in uh, mayalica print wow i haven't worn this dress at least in two years, I think. I wore it last time, I believe, in Portofino when I was there, like two years, two summers ago. And um, yeah, it's a really beautiful, beautiful print. I just don't know if this is still my style, like in terms of like shape and pattern. This is my go-to dress. I love this dress so much. I love the shape, the style, the material, the print. I don't know where to start, like, all the things that I love about this dress, like I could I could speak for days how much I love it. This is my go-to dress. If I have to go somewhere and I have an event, I would for sure pack this dress. I wore it in Mykonos, I wore it in Serbia, like many times. I, I took this for nights out, I took this for a day, I wore it in LA. Like it's a super, super cool dress. The length is just perfect, the sleeves, the material, like I said, the cleavage always stays in place. and. I really really enjoy it. I know it comes in two different prints like a pinky one and this is the orange one which is the one I picked. Here we got one kind of like a dusty pink like a pale pink dress. I love the scallop hem. I love the sleeves and a beautiful back detail as you can see. I remember I wore this dress in LA um, maybe not last year but year before and I just really really like the embroidery and glaze print which is what you will see soon like the little kind of holes I know it comes in like different lengths and colors but this was of course my favorite I mean do I even have to explain next dress it could be ironed a little bit it's a Prada dress I love this dress so much especially when worn with a shirt from the collection which is what it, how it was shown I also have the shirt it has kind of gap to follow here and gaps on sleeves I actually worn it in one of the videos in Milan I think this dress 
dress is super cute like this is kind of something that i wear for day meetings when it's spring and summer months of course i and <laughs> as it's a perfect length with like a tiny heel and that's or like just like a sandal or even sneakers whatever i love this dress and i think this okay next up also like a very 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 mucho worn dress by me is this pink tula rosa linen dress it has kind of also like a bit of a embroidery can you tell it's a very easy one you put it on over a bikini um with sandals and a denim jacket like that type of day dress you know the one that you really don't have to think about i wouldn't wear this for work it's more like um when i'm like summer holidays kind of for day time type of thing okay another jumpsuit i think i have probably of this kind of same type like the silk ones like maybe like two more in my wardrobe i love them because they're very easy you feel very free when you're like you know in the summer or kind of like days i wore this one in malibu in rome like again all around the world quite like that it's um, cinched in waist and around here you can like tight or you can kind of open it a little bit looser whatever you really want because because it has the option and it's gray with the burgundy ish to it here we go another zimmerman silk jumpsuit like different colors i really like this print i think this is the only piece that i have of this print really really like it it's quite a more like colors are not too girly i would say you know because the green the darker green and the burgundy together i really really love this and again wore it millions of times okay guys this zimmerman dress is probably like the most unique one i have because of the nature of the material and the print can you see yes there we go it's very like the material is i mean insane i think it's like the most special dress um because of the way it's done i think i got this one like three years ago where it at coachella la it's that kind of vibe april may which by the way normally are my favorite months of the year and i feel so sad like really feel sad that i'm missing out on them this year because they just bring me so much joy normally c'est la vie okay another dress with the waist cut out but this one is so special this needs to be tied nicely but at the back it has a really nice kind of a, like a lace-up detail bare back kind of skirt print is really pastely it's like a beautiful spring type of vibe again sandals sneakers all that stuff i wore it also to coachella okie dokie this jumpsuit long sleeves linen it's not silk so it's more like a casual i would say and more appropriate with sneakers i love this print i think it looks like a dress which is why i'm including it in the dress uh, video <laughs> and um, it's really really just easy one to wear this dress is the only versace dress i own i believe but it's in a signature versace print as you guys can see it has a bit of a leg slit very 90s i haven't really zipped it up all the way at the back so it looks a little bit loose and it definitely needs ironing the print is a little bit less strong than on most of the versace dresses it has the medusa of course head and uh, it's pastel colors overall this is what it looks like i believe that this is the last um floral silk jumpsuit i'm gonna show you love this print it's easy i have another dress in the same print but it's in a maxi version which i will then put them side to side when i'm showing the long dresses uh just this one is silk and the other one is linen and i believe that the print is really beautiful it goes really well with my green kelly for example or the pink birkin so quite cute for the summer months next dress is a very specific material one now it has a million buttons guys I'm not gonna button all of this up hopefully you're not gonna mind it's like those i always call them like a wedding dress buttons like the ones that you can never unbutton but it's a very funny like kind of uh material like neoprene type of style material which makes it very beautifully structured it's a size bigger now but I love it uh, still I would still wear it I love the purple with the orange flowers and I think it's a stunning stunning shape this dress is Alexander Wang and it's like a silk dress over a t-shirt but it's all one piece you cannot separate it quite like it because I think like it's elegant in the bottom and street at the top and that makes it like a kind of more appropriate wearable you know for whatever the occasion you want I think it needs to be steamed, maybe even dry cleaned. I worn it once in New York for a party and that was kind of my look, you know, with the hair up. 
a Leather Jacques Mousse Riviera kind of dress. It has this like a longer part here. It's shorter here. It's a linen kind of like a casual Riviera vibes. I think it's very sexy because the back is open, but on this side here is a little bit more open and you know it has a bit of a side boob moment with open back which i think is beautiful so this is the dress as a whole now this dress i wanted so much but it was so unavailable to buy in the uk it was a new brand when i discovered it i'll have it linked below and it's so happy it's colorful as you can see and then i got it when i was in the states i got it there it has this kind of like a big rope that you tie it with and then many different colors all the way around so very happy kind of dress you know okay another kind of jumpsuit that looks like a dress this really is a last one but this is the cotton linen one it's more muted colors with the buttons in the middle also from zimmerman these buttons do not open they're just like a decorative part as you can see the colors are more muted the print as well this is more of like a white with a bit of detail. I think we're slowly getting into the white zone. I have so many white dresses that you really need to brace yourself for this one. Okay, this dress, <laughs> is it too like curtainy like? I don't know, you guys let me know. I quite like the detailing at the back. I don't know if you can see, it has like a lace up at the moment. moment. I really like the detailing at the back. It's from a brand called Spell. I guess you could like belt it up if you really like it. Uh, I haven't actually worn it yet. It has this like lace and re it's really cute, really girly for a tan. It's, I believe Australian brand, which seem to be my favorites. This dress, I believe you guys have seen many, many times on my channel. It's beautiful. It's one of the more expensive kind of Zimmerman dresses, the runway collection, but it's very heavily embroidered, decorated, etc. It has this little cutout here and at the back does it have a cutout at the back it has some cutout so it zips from the top and from the bottom it has the little like uh balls as well like the signature sleeve and um yeah this is the dress it's a little bit more warmer dress so it's a thicker material now this dress is a linen dress it's supposed to be white but you can't maybe see it on the camera but it's a little bit off pink because on one occasion my mom washed it and there was like some kind of red thing something like really random in the machine that managed to color it a little bit pinkish and of course my mom was so upset i told her not to worry that it doesn't matter who cares that i can't see it that i will wear it like this i never really wore it but just didn't want to upset my mom so it's still in my wardrobe and i to be honest i think it's fine it's not that bad let me come very close i don't know if you'll be able to see but it does have something it's a really cute dress otherwise i could still probably wear it so yeah okay so this is the similar white dress to the navy one that i've already shown you this one has a fully bare sleeve so it's asymmetric kind of like a simple white dress with navy stars i think navy or black no, they're navy so navy stars very like uh, cute and chic and just easy for an every day okay here we go another linen embroidered dress on the sleeves like it's fully embroidered it has the like little pom-poms hanging pretty much everywhere this used to be like a trend like a massive trend i would say three years ago it was a trend but uh, i still like it i think it's a kind of classic piece i really like the quality of the material and the way it was made so i really like it it's also by march 11. my most worn jacquemus dress is here it's like off-white a little bit beigey kind of color this type of like a boyfriend's shirt style dress i often wear it with a belt just to make sure i always 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 wear nipple covers when i wear this dress i actually worn it at coachella as well uh, with like um cowboy boots and that was kind of the look uh, the okay. point is that uh, i also love this ham i would perhaps get it in white color as well and yeah i really really enjoy wearing this dress i think i underestimated this task of trying on all the dresses i have in my wardrobe because the whole day has gone and i'm still trying on the dresses okay a white lace dress with bell sleeves very kind of like a bohemian type of vibe as you can see the material it's cut out by the way in waist i don't know if there are some like little straps kind of hanging out but um it's cut out in waist as you can see here and then it has bare back i remember wearing this dress in 
Monaco like maybe three or four years ago. I've had it for a while now. So yeah, I haven't worn it recently, but I've had the dress for a very, very long time. Some of these dresses are really easy to put on without, like this one's really easy, just a zip and done, like linen dress. Have I closed it? No. There we go. I love this dress. I've had it for three or four years. I still wear it. It's very kind of like simple, easy, you know, again, LA vibes. Actually, it was designed by my friend Rachel. It's my Jarelle. And it's so like easy and simple and a beautiful white dress. I love it. Some of the dresses are so easy to put on and the others are like zips, buttons, straps, ties, millions of things. Okay, didn't I tell you to brace yourself for the white dresses? This is another white kind of linen dress designed by my friend Alex, who you probably know as Lovely Peppa. It's this style that I like, you know, when it gives you the hourglass shape. It also comes with like a white belt made of the same material, but it's in a drawer and um, I can't really reach it now because the chair is in that spot. So this is the dress. I really love it. I wore it many, many times. Okay, these frills or uh, what is this called? Fringes are from Stella McCartney. Spring summer 2019 dress. This is what it looks like. I also sometimes wear it belted like to have it like a bit shorter, but I think it's really beautiful as it is. Um, knotted silk Katya dress. Really wonderful. I like look at the movement. It's so pretty. Okay, we have another self-portrait lace dress. Really cute, girly with a little puffer kind of sleeve. Can I call it that way? Yeah. It sort of looks like the lace is layered onto the skin because of the nude color underslip for my skin tone. It's pretty similar skin tone to me. I'm a little bit tanned now, so yeah, this is the dress. Now, this detailing is for um, a Zimmerman dress. This bit around here goes ties around the neck so that it can support the chest area really well. And this dress has like a kind of corset type in here so that it's like really fitted and then it has a really beautiful skirt at the bottom. I really like wearing this one a lot, very girly. Many of you adore this dress. This is the white Louis Vuitton dress fitted in the waist with around the neck uh, sequin logo. I don't know if you can see it very well. It looks almost like it's holographic because of the sequins. And yeah, it's just like a very, very simple summer day dress, I would say. So I worn it in Milan in um, last season and you can also like belt it in here, which could look quite nice. This is a Zimmerman dress with a high neck, really like a uh, kind of body hugging as well. Beautiful shape. What really attracted me is just like the rotate high neck dress. This one has a high neck as well. It also has these little, uh, here you can see it a little bit better. It's from the most recent collection, so it's available now. And I just think it's like a very, very beautiful, like eye-catching piece. It's quite hard to get kind of like a white dress that is not boring, that is still fashionable. And I think this is a runaway piece, so this would be the right Piece. Okay, here we got a Jacquemus dress, which is a little bit too revealing. Like, first of all, you would need to wear nipple covers with this or something underneath, uh, which is then fine. And then it becomes like a really beautiful, like very easy summer dress. At the back, it's okay if you wear like a no VPL, like no visible panty line underwear, it'll be fine uh, because it has more layers. But in the front, it's a little bit more revealing. I would perhaps like close it a little bit just so that it looks like this. But other than that, I really like this dress. I think it's really beautiful piece. Okay, we got another embroidery and glaze dress. Uh, as you can see, this is more like a shirt dress. I like didn't button every single button, but you get the idea. It has a very structured belt, which I think adds quite a nice thing. And I like this dress because it's a little bit less girly because of the shape, but the style is still very feminine and beautiful. Wear it like with the white cowboy boots that I have. I bought it in LA in Melrose um, boutique and I've worn it like that ever since. This dress is always creased because it's a linen dress, but it's that kind of linen dress that is almost like supposed to be creased, if you know what I mean. This dress is also a purchase from the Melrose Boutique from Isabel Moran, actually. I don't know if I tied it properly, something doesn't feel really right. It used to be such a thing back in the day, also with the cowboy boots or ankle boots or sandals or whatever you want. I mean, such 
an easy piece in my wardrobe. Okay, you might recognize that I already shown a dress like this. I shown a navy one. I maybe prefer the navy one because the material hugs the body a little bit better. But the white one is probably what I've worn the most. The back looks like this. It's again asymmetric, so really cut here, not so cut here. The square kind of cut around the body. So this is another Jacquemus piece and I have one more Jacquemus thing and we're done with the day short dresses. Jacquemus, another short dress. This one's a little bit different because you can kind of control it a bit better. Beautiful kind of bottom cut, the one that I like. It's very, very white. It's not the other one, it's more like off-white. And I wore this one last summer in Canti. I specifically remember I wore it during the old couture for like some parties in the summer. It's just like a very simple, simple white dress that, you know, it's a little bit more fashion because it doesn't look like you try so hard. Another Zimmerman dress is this blue lace one. Um, another short kind of dress. It is from my Teresa exclusive collection that is available now. It's beautiful, kind of like a sea blue color with a rope, what is this, a belt? Like a rope belt that has some kind of seashells over here. I don't know if you can see, but I love this color. I think it's very flattering and it's such a beautiful dress. Ta-da! Can't wait to wear this. Okay, so we're now into the long dresses. I hope you'll be able to see this because it seems like there's some kind of uninvited sunlight coming in. There's only like 10 to 15 long dresses that I have. This one's by Rotate. This is the newest one in my collection. Okay, so here you can see it in like a proper light where um, the material is a bit... It's like really light and beautiful. Shoulder pads, accentuated waist. And a really really pretty dress for summer. Here we go, another long dress. This one is from Chara Ruiz. It's a really beautiful white long dress. Okay, if I come closer you can see the details a little bit better. It's really like beautiful kind of neckline and it's a maxi long summer dress. Here we got a philosophy white this is not really a, like a maxi dress, it's more of a midi dress, but you can see it really, really nicely. It's longer than most of the dresses, so I keep it in a separate part. What I love about this dress mostly is the back. The back is so beautiful, it looks like um, it's just covered by a lace. Here you can see the detailing a little bit of it. I think now you can see it a bit better. Layered, tiered dress. Okay, hopefully you can see this. The light is not working in our favor right now because it's been a whole day of me filming this video. But this is the Maxi Linen Zimmerman dress. So I have shown you the similar jumpsuit in this print. It comes also with this thing that you can put in your hair or around the neck or as like a scarf, whatever you want. I don't really tend to wear it, but I love the print, I think. It's really beautiful. White linen and cotton mix Lueve dress. It's sort of a midi. I wouldn't, well, I mean, you know, somewhere it's maxi, somewhere it's midi, as you can see. The dress itself has quite a few layers. I know that many of you are not going to be a fan of this dress, but I love wearing it with a big uh, belt. It's quite a fashionable, um, I would say, street style piece. And you know, like you can really wear it whichever season you want. Next up, there's this Ronnie Kobo dress. Now, I love this designer. Uh, she's a US designer who I love. I have two dresses, by the way, from Ronnie shoulder pads, kind of waist, slim, and a bit of a cut. I like the polka dot. I think it's pretty, pretty easy. I have two dresses from Ronnie, and every time I wear these dresses, I feel really amazing. So, this is one of them. We have Fendi, kind of like midi dress because it doesn't go all the way to the floor it's the logo dress i don't really wear this one that much anymore i used to and uh, it used to be such a big hit i had a different one as well which i worn like just that was kind of more of a mesh it didn't have the underskirt this one does so it's fully opaque and yeah i think it's cooler to be worn in in autumn like colder months when it's more layered and more style and also it's a little bit big on me right now so Here we got an animal print kind of Ghani dress. I think we got this one maybe beginning of the year, towards the end of last year. I can't really even remember anymore. It has a slit, but it doesn't have to have it because it's a wrap dress. You can just wrap it however you really like. You know, you can do it a bit more like here on the side, or you can do it a bit more like at the back. 
and so on. I really enjoy Ghani wrap dresses. I think that they're very light, very easy. And... Okay, over here we got Joanna Ortiz. Sorry, I'm smiling because I'm just texting. Um, we got the Joanna Ortiz for H&M dress. This dress hasn't seen the light of day yet, but hopefully in the summer. It's a beautiful maxi dress. Also like a bit big, like what's going on? I don't know, maybe I'm losing some muscles. Also, just to show you the details, it's very like flamenco vibe style, red with the kind of frill around the chest area, which I think is quite feminine. Alessandra Rich dress. This is, I haven't actually buckled it properly at the back, so hopefully shoulders will stay. It's a beautiful silk purple dress. This one I wore to my friend Alexandra Pereira's wedding, lovely Peta, last August. I love the shoulders. I danced the whole night in it, it was very comfortable. Should have buckled it so I'll show you better, but I'll show you up close as well. I was really tanned, and I think when I'm tanned, this kind of color really, really suits me. I love this dress, so stunning. So there we go okay here we got another ronnie kobo dress this is the dress that whenever i wear it i get a lot of attention it's like a very apparently attractive dress i don't know i don't really quite know what it is about this dress but it's a very i think it's the silk it's quite like a cut it's very feminine beautiful elegant in a way to show you a little bit more detail you can see around the shoulder area it's like little chains instead of the straps and it's this kind of specific green color Okay, another self-portrait dress. This is, I mean, the last self-portrait. This one before the last dress, anyway. So um, it's a black midi dress with the cutouts here. It's probably my favorite self-portrait dress that I have. I love the cutouts and I love the lace kind of detail throughout the dress, which I think it's very, very beautiful. Guys, I decided to conclude the video with one of the most beautiful dresses that I own. At least that's what I think. I love this dress so much. This is Giambattista Valley for H&M. I mean, how stunning is this dress? Like, I have no words. I feel like such a princess wearing this. And um, look at these details. I'll show you properly. Here we go. I wore this dress in the campaign as well that we shot in Belgrade in November, October. Uh, I think it's so beautiful and really love, love having this dress in my wardrobe. Okay, guys. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm filming since 9 a.m. And it's what time is it? It's 6.11. So it's a full day of filming. I have a lot of stuff to put back, even though I tried to be regular as we go. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what was your favorite dress. I'm going to go and have a big pot of ice cream because I think I deserve it. Love you all and see you very soon. Bye.